Indian Institute of Scientific Education and Research, ISIS, are the premium research institutions in India and the go-to place for those students who are interested in getting into the field of research. There are seven ISAs spread across different geographical locations of India, starting from the extreme south Tiruvanandapuram to the north Mohali in Punjab. And in the seven ISAs, we have different types of courses. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about the various courses in ISAs and the admission procedure for getting an admission in ISAs. ISAs have different programs like BS, which is called Bachelor of Science. And then we have a BS MS program, which is Bachelor of Science and Master of Science integrated programs, which can be completed in five years time. PhD programs, PhD programs, as well as postdoctoral programs. But in this video, I'm going to share you the details of those courses that can be pursued by a child right after grade 12. That means two courses. One is BS, which is Bachelor of Science, and another is Integrated BS-MS program. ISAs offer different types of programs in undergraduation level. We have Bachelor of Science programs as well as Integrated BS-MS programs. In Integrated BS-MS, there are different subject combinations available. You can specialize in chemical science, biological science, data science, economics, and a lot more. But BS programs are available only in one ISER, and that is ISER, which is located in Bhopal. They have BS programs in engineering as well as economics. Now, if you ask me whether all these programs are available in all seven ISERs in India, the answer is no because each ISA work as an autonomous institute and they have their own programs. So if you want to see like which ISAs offer what sort of programs, kindly get onto their website, which is mentioned here in the description box so that you can get a clear idea on the programs offered by each ISAs in India. Also understand that ISAs are residential campus. That means you have to stay in the campus if you want to pursue your studies in ISA. The number of seats and course structure differs in each ISER. Undergraduation level, the maximum number of seats that are offered by an ISER is 280. Still, I request you to visit the site of each ISER to get a clear idea on all these things. Regarding the course structure, even though there is a pattern for all the courses and it's almost similar in all ISERs, the number of years that are put forth for majoring in a subject differs in each ISER. However, the pattern is something like this, wherein the formative years you will be studying all the subjects, wherein like you get a basement for everything and then you start majoring in subjects. Unlike many other institutions, there are three different ways in which you can get an admission in ISIR. The first one is called the KVPY channel, the second one JEE examinations and the third one is called the SCB channel. KVPY is Kishore Vaitnyanik Prolsahan Yojana. It's not an entrance examination but a scholarship examination. If you're looking for getting an admission in ISA through the KVPY channel, then you should write this examination during your grade 11 or grade 12 and become eligible for getting a scholarship during your undergraduation. Apart from KVPY, you should also have a definite cutoff marks which will be set by ISA to get admission through this channel during your 10 plus 2. The second way to get admission in ISAs is through JEE examination, the Joint Entrance Examination. You should write JEE main first and then clear your JEE advanced. If you belong to the general category, then your common rank should be below 10,000. And if you belong to a reservation category, then your category-wise ranking should be less than 10,000. Additional to this, there would be a cutoff mark, same like that of KBPY that has been set up by ISER which you should score for your 10 plus 2.
Those children who wish to get an admission in ISIS through SCB channel should write an entrance examination called IAT. IAT is ISIR Aptitude Test. The syllabus for ISIR Aptitude Test includes portions from Biology, Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. From each of these subjects, you will have 15 questions. 15 questions and total of 180 minutes. That is total 60 questions, 3 hours. It is a multiple choice examination. Those children who have not taken biology for your grade 11 and 12 can also appear for this examination. But the only condition is that during the examination, you have to face biology paper too. So if you can face that examination with confidence, you are eligible to write IAT. And there is a definite mark that you should get for your 10 plus 2. And according to each boards, this marks will differ. Let me explain you the marks that you should be scoring for the 2020 admissions. For getting a seat in ISER in the year 2020 through SCB channel, if it is the CBSE board, then you should have scored at least 427 marks out of 500. And if it is NIOS, then it should be a minimum of 341 marks. Now you may be confused. See, my state board, the total marks is not out of 500. So how come it is 500? So there is a rule for normalization or standardization wherein they will have a particular calculation wherein which they will calculate the marks out of 500 and out of 500 you should have scored this marks. When you go to the site of ICER admissions, you will find a very clear document which explains the cutoff marks that is required for each and every state boards too. I will give a link of that in the description box. So kindly check that before you proceed further. Maths is not a mandatory subject for getting admissions in ISIS. However, if you are looking for a BS seat in ISIR Bhopal, either for economics or for engineering, then maths becomes a mandatory subject for your grade 11 and 12. You should also be understanding another thing that if you are looking for an admission through JEE channel, then maths becomes mandatory there. It's not actually for admission. But according to the rules of JEE eligibility, it says that the child should have taken physics, chemistry and mathematics for grade 11 and 12. So in that condition, you will not be eligible to apply through JEE channel, but always the SCB channel is open for you. Hope you are now clear about the admission procedure and the courses in ISIS. If you have any further confusions, please feel free to send in your queries as comments to this video. Also, let me know about the institutes or courses that you wish to know in future. Thank you.